everyone, welcome to this Pat Travers classic um, along with Pat Thrall who played guitar in a great song as far as interweaving and playing a minor pentatonic scale. We're going to do a lot of sixths, sevenths, and ninth chords in this and um, just be kind of jamming between them. So um, I'll talk to the guitars as uh, we do them. There's two of them, so I'll show you both parts as we go through it. Um, the intro, as you saw, we start out with the drums, and then we come in, and basically the notes we're doing here will be this. So what we're doing there is we're going to play an E7th and we're just going to reference it with a, a two note chord. We're going to play on the third string at the fourth fret, the second string at the third fret. Then we're just going to hit the third string, second fret. Then we're going to do the second string open and uh, third string at first fret. And then we're going to do the third and fourth string together. The fourth string will be at the second fret. And we're going to slide in twice. And just basically go down, hit that second uh, fret of the third string, and then the second um, string open and uh, third string first fret. So all together. Then we're going to pull down the G to an E. G note, 6th string, 3rd fret, and then we're back into the lick. Repeat it. We're going to pull down that G, and this time we're going to go to an A. And we're going to do something similar. We're going to go on the 2nd and 3rd string to the 2nd fret to open. So we're playing the 2nd and 3rd string together. And then we play basically an A chord. We're going to play the 3rd and 4th string at the 2nd fret. And then we're going to do it again. Then we pull down, and we're back to the first lick. After he does the second uh, time through, he pulls that um, third string at the second fret, stretch it up a full step, so you're going up to the B note. So you want to reach this. And I've watched him live and he touches, hammers on with his finger onto this fret, which would be the third string at the fifth fret. And that gives you a D because you're stretched up and you're actually hitting this note. If we just did it here, we would do it at five, but because we're stretching it up, and then he's bending it behind the note to give it some vibrato and then it feeds back. So we'll go all through that. One, two, The next thing you're going to hear is a harmonic, and he's going to hit the third string and second string over the 12th fret. When he does that harmonic, 
kind of push on the neck. You're pushing forward with your hand here and holding it steady with your other hand at the head. Uh, Randy Rhodes did this in Crazy Train and some people told me it's not real good for your guitar but I don't think it hurts if you do it just a little bit. So we hit the harmonic. <laughs> an E. Enough kid! And then he does an E um, up here at the ninth fret and then an E seventh up here at first positions. The next thing you'll hear is a uh, guitar cleans up and it's got some chorus on it and he's gonna play through an E uh, seventh and this E seventh is probably unusual uh, to most people. We're gonna play on the uh, second string third fret, third string fourth fret, uh, fifth string, fifth fret, and fourth string, sixth fret. And he kind of picks through. Does that for a measure. Um, and again, the guitar kind of cleans up a little bit and has got some chorus. And then he comes in with uh, kind of a funky chord lick. This, I think, is Pat Thrall. Well, um, Pat Travers is talking. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this chord. We're going to go at the 9th fret, 1st string, 10th fret, 2nd string, 11th fret, 3rd string. And then we're going to go to the um, 7th fret on the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Then uh, we'll take that up to 9. And then we're just going to do the 2nd and 3rd string on the 5th and 6th fret. So what we have so far is this. Okay, again. So you gotta you gotta add that chunk to it. Um, you want to get it going, and then the next lick goes like this. We're gonna go from the we're gonna keep this form that we did at the fifth and sixth. We're gonna go from the third and fourth to the fifth and sixth to the seventh fret, and then we're gonna go backwards. So all together, let's start from the beginning. One, two, three. So that lick repeats a total of six times. On the um, seventh time, what you're going to do is you're going to go from the three to five position twice. So we're just going back and forth before we go forward, if that makes any sense to you. Here would it be normal. And here's what we're going to do on that seventh time through. So we're just doing a da 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 once and then into the lick. And then he's into kind of a more funkier part. So what we're doing here is we're doing an E seventh and we're sliding up to an F sharp 7th and back to an E 7th and you want to do that kind of quick. When you get there hit it and do an upstroke and come back. After you stay on that E 7th the first time through then you come to an A 7th but we're just going to hit the um, top three strings the first second and third. So again, then after we do another, we're just going to hit double stops on the uh, first and second string from 12 to 14 to 15 and back. We're going to consider this one whole lick and I'll show it to you at speed. One, two, three. That's one lick. 
We're going to do that a total of three times. On the uh, after the third time, when we go, we're going to stop there, and then we're going to just hit 12th fret on the first and second string, and then he starts counting out one, two, and so on. But again, so it's three. What I consider three and a half times. Um, we do this, and then we go one more half, and into the... So let me do it all the way through. One, two, three, four. to that next part. So next part, um, which becomes distorted again, and they count off and kind of start kicking in. So um, he's going to start out one, two, one, two. Boom, boom, out go the lights. 